Yeah, you'll like this a lot. <laughs> you look fucked up. You look like you're ready to run a marathon or something. Like, yeah. Welcome to our Indiegogo page for our film project entitled Upper, also known as the Upper Footage. We need your help to bring this project to light in the form of a US and hopefully international theatrical release. Upper is the first film project of its kind. The film is an edited version of six hours of footage recovered from the night of December 28, 2009, where a group of young socialites were involved in the death and cover-up of a young woman. The story of the footage has played itself out in the media for three years. Now after years of legal issues, changing of hands, threats and delays, it's finally making its way to the big screen. We will be kicking off the film's release with a series of midnight screenings in New York City starting on January 31st, and spreading out from there based on the success of this campaign. The reason I have hidden my identity is because myself and the project receive daily threats, and we want to keep our safety intact until we are able to get this project released. Due to legal reasons we are not able to illicitly state if the footage is authentic or not. Just that we acquired the footage, and diligently investigated all the events around it. Feel free to Google any of the events or visit our website. Release the upper footage.com where we have cataloged all the evidence. On December 28, 2009, a young girl by the name of Jackie was seen leaving a popular New York City bar with a group of socialites. It was the last time she was seen alive. Due to the affluence of those involved, the story never hit the media, and all involved disappeared shortly afterward. All history of those involved quickly disappeared from the internet, one year after her disappearance. A video was posted on YouTube entitled, NYC Socialite Overdose, depicting Jackie's overdose death. All the faces in the video were pixelated, with the uploader demanding financial compensation in return for not releasing the unobscured footage. The video quickly went viral garnering over 800,000 views within days. Rumors spread that popular socialite Blake Pennington, whom had been missing for one year at that point, was involved. The video and all stories pertaining to the video were pulled shortly afterward, as the Pennington family reached an agreement with the extortionist. Eight months later two additional videos were posted on YouTube. All the faces in the videos were again pixelated with the extortionist yet again asking for financial compensation in return for not releasing the unobscured footage. As negotiations went sour between the extortionist and the Pennington family, he went to mainstream media to inform them of what he was doing. A media firestorm ensued. Rumors quickly spread of a celebrity's involvement with the videos. The story became the hottest story in Hollywood with several young Hollywood actresses being questioned about their involvement, including Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez. After weeks of speculation celebrity media falsely confirmed actress Chelsea Kane as being part of the videos. You may have heard about this one, but only we can give you the full details tonight as a Disney star cries foul over what she says is a phony video of her snorting cocaine. There was a video online of supposedly me doing some illegal things. <laughs> it's not me. A short-haired blonde leaning over a glass table appearing to be doing the line of cocaine. A brunette surrounded by mountains of white powder laughing. As word spread that the footage was up for sale, 
several directors, producers, and news agencies stepped up to express their interest in purchasing it. A bidding war ensued, allegedly with filmmaker Quentin Tarantino winning the bid with the intention of turning it into a feature film. On September 24, 2011, test marketing for the film entitled Upper began. The immediate public backlash was immense. Due to this, and a bevy of legal threats, those involved abandoned the project. Soon after we were able to acquire the footage in the past year has been spent restoring it and trying to get the project out. Several months ago we received big studio interest in our project. After months of dealing with Big Studio's unethical business practices and fears that the footage would be ruined, we came to the realization that the only way we could get this project out, in the form that we wanted it, was to do it ourselves. As you can imagine bringing a project of this nature out is very challenging. But with your help we can make it a reality. Please join us in bringing perhaps the most unique piece of cinema out to the masses. We feel with the current political and economic state of America there is no better time to release this project. In return we have been able to offer some great rewards including having your name immortalized in the films and credits. This project will not have a traditional credit role, outside of the people who have helped us bring this to life in post-production. The only names that will be featured in the credits will be you, the supporters. We have no sponsors or investors and most websites have been scared to run any stories on the project, so our fans and supporters have been the only reason we have been able to get the word out at all, so it is only fitting that your names will be immortalized as being a part of this project. Forever.